It's almost time to rip and tear, dear friends. Doom Eternal is just around the corner, and we can already smell the crisp scent of barbecued imp. Ah. <sighs> As we ramp up to launch, we've been scouring the pre-release footage of the game to get a better look at the weapons we'll be taking on our holiday trip to hell on earth. Doom Guy certainly doesn't pack light, and we cannot wait to pull the trigger on many new death-dealing devices we'll soon have in our midst. So join us in salivating over the new Doom Eternal weapons we can't wait to rip and tear with. The Super Shoddy may not be a new weapon, but in Doom Eternal it's packing one hell of an upgrade. Wielded firmly to the bottom is a new grapple hook deemed the Meat Hook which will let you latch onto enemies from a distance before reeling yourself in, presumably to deliver a meaty blast to the face. Ooh, that's, that's gonna leave a mark. The Super Shoddy was already one of the most satisfying weapons in the Doom Slayer's arsenal, and in Doom Eternal, it only gets better. A new addition to our catalog of killing, the Ballista fires out twin beams of charged energy. It looks an awful like the Gauss Cannon from Doom 2016, and if it proves equally satisfying, then we won't complain about the swap. The Ballista is also capable of charging bolts for a powerful delayed detonation. You'll get just enough time to watch your target squirm in anguish before they erupt in a fountain of blood. Perfect for taking out those smug demons. Teased in all of the game's trailers, the Crucible Sword is the new big daddy weapon of the game. Sorry BFG, we still love you, but there's a new favorite in our hearts. The Crucible is capable of absorbing demonic energy before letting the Doom Slayer dish it back out to his foes. It also looks like it'll have its own selection of glory kills to enjoy. We don't know the exact details on how this new weapon will work, but we're hoping it's a case of killing enough enemies to charge it up before unleashing it onto a spawn of demons for a limited amount of time. Please don't restrict us to a few key moments in game, it's software. If the trailers we've been shown are anything to go by, the environment is going to play a much bigger role in Doom Eternal. Doom 2016's arenas were great fun to blast around, but they didn't come with swinging axe traps and crushing blocks. Shooting a demon is fun, sure, but dropping 400 pounds of rock onto his head? That's a whole nother level of devilish pleasure. These traps appear to crop up semi-regularly, activated with a simple shot of your current gun. With so many explosions and demonic guts flying around though, do your best not to set them off while you're underneath, or you may be making a much more permanent journey to hell. Looks like humanity wasn't happy with the basic BFG and its ability to obliterate everything in its path because the opening gameplay to Doom Eternal showed off the BFG 10,000. Honestly, some people are never satisfied. An enormous space station mounted gun, the BFG 10,000 is used inefficiently it would seem to battle the demonic invasion that's assaulting Earth from Mars. You just know when they're putting a weapon like that front and center in your vision that Doom Guy is going to find some way to harness it, point it directly at a big old demon's face, and let us pull the trigger. Ah, uh, there's nothing like getting back to the basics. Again, not technically a new weapon, but its software definitely seems to have taken the love of glory kills on board with Doom Eternal, teasing the many different ways he'll be able to stylishly end our foes with little more than two gloved hands. Punching faces in? Check. Breaking an arm and forcing the demon to kill itself? Double check. Literally punching enemies in half? Do, do you really need to ask? We'll even have access to an Assassin's Creed wristblade in Eternal, which you can guarantee is going to be shoved in holes demons didn't even realize they had. Those are the new weapons in Doom Eternal that we can't wait to rip and tear with. Got a favorite demon blaster of choice, weapon, or demon killing machine? Let us know in the comments below.